Hello everybody, welcome back to Dad Cube's Secret Recipes. Right, here we go. Today is a lovely, lovely dinner. This one, I just, it's a roast pork here. I'm roasting a nice bit of pork. I'm going to do some beautiful vegetables in the oven and make it gorgeous. It's really, really simple, which I like. I love simple food, right? I'll show you how to do it over here. Come on. Right, here we go. These are the ingredients. A lovely pork joint there, which is gorgeous. Some bacon, an oxo cube. I've got some uh, spicy Italian there for the herbs and some garlic pepper. Some honey, a bit of olive oil. Some herbs, which I've said to herbs, some mushrooms, some peppers, an onion, and some carrots. And that is it, yeah? But my special ingredients for this one, to make some meal in my eyes, a butternut squash. This was a bit bigger. <laughs> I've used this for another meal. Always use up your vegetables, people. Right, this is butternut squash. I do this in the oven as well, roast it. Separate from that, a bit of salt on it and something like that, a bit of olive oil, roast it nicely, and have that instead of potatoes. It is gorgeous, okay? I'll show you how to put it all together. Oops, bollocks. Right, here we go. First of all, a nice baking tray there. Just a bit of olive oil on top of the pork. Make it over there. That is gorgeous. Right, that's all it is there. <laughs> that goes in the oven now. A Mark 6. About, um, it'd be about an hour and three quarters, that one. Because I usually do about 20 minutes per 500 grams. That's per pound in old money. And that will cook beautiful. Yeah, but keep an eye on it. It should go lovely and golden. It'll be gorgeous. Stick that in the oven. Right, here we go. This goes in the oven. Zip it for Mark 6, middle of the oven, and let it cook for about an hour and three quarters, but keep an eye on it, okay? Right, first things first, we're going to peel and cut the old carrots up, all right? Just cut the, that's, uh, cut the carrots as per usual, just putting them all down. Right, that was nice and easy, the old carrots. Right, cut them in half, that's what I always do anyway. Show you how to do this first one. Cut your first of all there like that, and just cut it, give you a nice little edge, yeah? And just trim them down, about that big. I think these are called juliennes or something like that, I'm not too sure. I've heard that before on telly. I'm going to cut them juliennes. Right, cut them down like that. And these ones here, just cut them in just little bits like that. I mean, see that? You can cut them all up like that and stick them in there. Easy peasy. Right, there we go. Carrots are done there, beautiful. Just show you how to do the peppers. If you do a pepper, just cut it in half. So you've got to do, take the seeds out. I don't know why you take the seeds out. I always take the seeds out. Just take the seeds out like that. Put them to one side. And just cut these. Nice sharp knife. Like that. Yeah, and just put them in with the carrots. Do all the peppers like that, okay? Right, that's looking good, beautiful. Pepper's done. Next the old onion. Same for you again. Top and tail the onion. Hope you can see this. Find a nice space. Down there like that. Et voila. Just get the onion, cut it in half. Put the things aside. And just get this, you need this just, just nice and big. Like that, like so, bosh on top of that. Right, there we go, that's all in there. Just get the old mushrooms, that's what I've done, just run these under a tap and give them a wipe, yeah? Just get the mushrooms, just cut them up, nice and fine. Show that once more. I was supposed to do this like this, cut a little bit off, so it makes a nice edge, yeah? Then just cut them up, they're perfect. Take your time, don't cut yourself, please. Okay? Right, there we go, all the veggies are in there, beautiful. We're just gonna add a bit of the old bacon in. Just cut it up, really, that's what you gotta do. Just cut the bacon, just cut it up so it cooks. This is going to grim with a veg. Five bits of bacon, that will do lovely. Right, there we go. That's gorgeous. Bit of olive oil now on top. A couple of glugs there. Some honey. Do you do? About a nice long squeeze. How's that? Nice long squeeze. Some of the herbs, Italian spices rather, on top. Gorgeous. And some garlic pepper. Beautiful. Then we put the, the um, oxo cube on top as well, which is perfect. Spread that out on top. Beautiful. Now get your ends in there. Give them a really good, nice mix. Perfect. Look at that. Break it all up. Give it a nice mix. And that's it. Right, there we go. It's beautiful. All nice mixed in there. I can stick that to one side because the pork's still cooking. Let's do the butternut squash next. Right, that's all the veggies done on one side. I prefer to keep this separate, the old butternut squash. I just like it. Right, cut this out in the middle. Easy peasy. Get a nice spoon and just get all these seeds out. Okay? Right, there we go. That's done. Just get these now. I like to cut them in half a little bit more. So quarter them. Like that. Beautiful. Still got seeds to go. Bloody everywhere them seeds. Right, I like cutting them to about the A bit. I'll show you. Go everywhere. Like that. So if you can get them to that size, they were roast gorgeous, okay? And they go in the pot. 
Right, there we go, butter not squash done. Put some oil, a little bit of the olive oil on top. A little bit of garlic pepper. This is all up to you, of course, all up to taste. If you like a lot of garlic, put a lot on. If you like a little bit of garlic, put a little bit on, all right? That goes to the side as well. Just wait for that pork to cook through. Once that's cooked through, about an half hour before, the cooks, before it's cooked, I stick the vegetables in. All right, let's check the pork. Easy way to do it. Just get your knife and your fork <laughs> and cut it right down the middle here. That is perfect. Oh, God, I'm good. <laughs> right, get this to a foil. Over the side. Leave that there for about 10 minutes to a quarter of an hour. Let it settle. Let it relax. Right, here we go. That's settled. Beautiful. Took it off the old platter. Took the strings off. And that is gorgeous. Right, let's see if we can get this. The old crapping off. Jubbly jubbly. Let's just do one bit for now. Right, and just carve. And get it first. Just carve your meat. Should be gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Let's get the veggie out. All right, veggie's done beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Slops everywhere, bacon's cooked. Uh, uh, uh. You get a nice bit of juice. Look at that juice of the old veggies, look. Oh, gorgeous. Yes, that nut squash is done beautiful as well. Excellent, let's plate up. Right, there you go. My version on the old roast dinner. Give it a go, because it is beautiful. Right, there we go. Beautiful dinner, that one. Please try it. It takes a bit of time chopping all the vegetables and all that, you know, but it's lovely. Really, really lovely. And it's just a bit different from a normal roast dinner. All right, I'll see you later on. Bye.